Hello again YouTube. We're going to talk about the dreaded Desair on Can-Am Spiders. Mine's a 2014 RT. In the fall of 2018 we were getting ready to take a trip to Yellowstone and I'd had the Desair happen a couple times before. One time when we were headed for the Bighorns in Wyoming but I never had it leave me stranded. That's, I guess, one good thing. You know, pull the key, walk away for 10 minutes, come back, and it worked. But we were getting ready to go to Yellowstone. I was getting the bike ready, turned the key on, I had a desk there. So I, it was like two or three days before we were leaving for Yellowstone. So I went ahead and replaced the desk module, which is mounted behind the frunk and did get the updated module which is supposed to take care of that problem but over the last year and a half since that was replaced I, uh, I've had the desk error pop up on the screen when I first turn the key on the way that the way it works is it has the desk module and then it's got a antenna in the ignition that reads the chip on your key I just put this key holder on, so don't blame my key holder um, for interrupting the signal. But I bought, finally, I've been wanting to for a long time, I bought the BUDS program in the MPI3 interface, and I got it from powersportsdiagnostics.com. And they allow you to buy a one-month Megatech license. You have to have the Megatech license to disable the desk system. So, I did it. And that license actually ran out. I need to log in here. Ran out a uh, month ago. Or, I mean, a week ago. And... <clears throat> Now I just have a regular dealer license because literally the only reason I needed the Megatech was just to disable that desk system. So I now have like a dealer Roadster license, but it's no different. I'll be able to show you what I did. So the BUDS program opens up, read the data, and it reads all the info off your, all the modules on the spider. And when it comes up, there's a tab here that says keys and we'll click that tab come on okay click the tabs key and then you're gonna show desk here under the anti-theft system and with Megatech it'll allow you to drop that down choose deactivated and then write the data back to the bike and that's all there is to it I got this in the mail and had the license activated, just followed their instructions within like 15 minutes, came out to the garage, hooked it up and, ha and literally had not done any research and figured out how to do it. Like, so within 20 minutes of having that thing, I had the desk module deactivated. So I will never run the risk of being on halfway across the country somewhere and be stranded. You know, have to pay for a tow motel room for however many days till it can get fixed. I'm pretty sure buying this BUDS program is cheaper than having one, one time have the desk module or the ignition module fail and have to get towed and the hassle of that when you're on a trip. So now I have the Roadster license, just the dealer license for two years. I bought that and now I'm going to be able to actually bleed my brakes correctly. I also have my ACS, the automatically controlled suspension, basically deactivated right now. I have the pump unhooked, the relief solenoid unhooked, and uh, the check valve that used to be hooked to the pump taken off with a plug in it 
So I'm going to put a new pump in and get that all fixed and then I'll be able to set the upper and lower limits with buds. Um, not have to take it to a shop for that. So yeah, I'm pretty excited and I'll do videos of that when I do those two tasks here shortly. Um, so anyway, when you uh, deactivate it, write the data back to the bike and then exit and then no more digitally encrypted security system. Have a good day.